The new Nissan Altima comes equipped with liquid-filled engine mounts that significantly reduce vibration and engine noise. But haven't I seen this before? And while you've seen a demonstration like this done for a luxury car before... I thought so. You've never seen it done for one that starts at $13,000. That's refreshing. The new Nissan Altima. It's time to expect more from a car. Well, my girlfriend told me she got her boots at Payless. I thought she was kidding. I mean, come on, Payless? I mean, these were really hot boots. So I checked it out. She wasn't kidding. These were really hot boots. Fashion boots, sport boots, western boots. I gotta say, Payless is definitely happening. Hey, I didn't believe it either. Believe it. Now at Payless, really hot boots are on sale starting at just $14.99. For styles, you've got to see to believe. Who'd have guessed? Payless. To clean between your teeth, you could steam clean them. <laughs> or get the new Reach Between Toothbrush. With clever new ripples that reach between teeth for a vigorous clean. The new Reach Between Toothbrush. For all the very hard to reach places. Bob Campbell has a bad cold. But he can't take anything that'll make him drowsy. Luckily, there's new Tylenol Cold Gel Caps. The only cold medicine in a gel cap that won't make you drowsy. New Tylenol Cold Gel Caps. This week on today, Shirley MacLaine and Kathy Bates and Used People, plus Steve Martin and Deborah Winger from Legal Safe. Also, great video gifts for your kids. This week on today. Hi, I'm Jay Leno. You know one of the great perks of hosting the Tonight Show is they get to keep all the change that falls out of the guest pockets on the sofa cushion. Garth Brooks at 50 cents. Clint Black a dime. It's great. Don't miss the shakedown this week with Jeremy Irons, Randy Travis, Joan Cusack, Shaka Khan, Kevin Pollack, and Barry Manilow. All this week. Say you find yourself in an angry situation. Somebody insults you or something. Here's a technique I think works every time. It's called being cool. You tell yourself you're not going to let some fool force you into cracking his skull, and then you try and talk it out. If that doesn't work, you turn and you walk away. Guess what? You won the fight because the guy who uses his head first has more guts than any guy who uses his fist. Peace.